Hello and welcome to Eight Science. At this part of West Bengal, we could find different beautiful small red crabs. I always wonder that how they make their beautiful houses in which they can even survive when the houses are covered with high tides. They always make some round small balls made of sand everywhere in the vicinity of their habitation. Today I got a very rare chance of how they are making actually their habitats and those sand balls. Not only the red crabs, I found some other shore crabs which reside in the intertidal zones of the coastal area. These beautiful red crabs form a red carpet over the entire seashore. But wait, who make these sand bubbles and how? I became extremely curious and decided to film them. For that, I sat on the beach for two hours. I had to sit there still because a slight movement, even though when I tried to focus, because of the vibration of my camera, they disappeared. First I thought that this is how they build their burrows, their homes, but I was wrong. Oh no, they are eating actually. During the high tide, lots of planktons and algae come with the sea water and they get dissolved, they get mixed up with the sand. So they are taking sands within their mouth of course, they have a very wonderful filtering system. They are having their food, mixing the saliva and the sand, filtering their food and then just expelling the residual sand which forms this wonderful small round bubbles of sand. I found this one centimeter long creatures which is another species of crabs, I don't know its name, though he seems too busy and in a hurry so that it is using both of the hands. When they eat, they do not like any intruders. Hey, stay away from me! This is completely justified as they have to do a lot of work during low tide. Let's get some rest. Sometimes they give a pause for a while so that they can continue the feeding process until the high tide comes. This is the amount of sand bubbles they made within just two hours during my shooting. These burrows made by the sand crabs are depending on the high tides and low tides. As it is low tide now, so in this portion the crabs make burrows here and they feed on the planktons, algae, etc. of the seawater. These burrows are actually like, suppose this is the portion where the seawater is coming. Now these are the portion of the burrows and the crabs reside here so that when the seawater comes like this, these crabs can make themselves out of reach as much as possible. I have seen them fighting. I have seen them grooming themselves. I have also seen how they calculate the distance of closest approach of danger. They are beautiful. They are glamorous. They are wide in variety. They need to survive. They deserve to survive. They are part of our ecosystem. We could refrain ourselves from polluting our seas. These small creatures are so helpless and it is our duty to save them. Scientists estimate that 50 to 80 percent of oxygen production on Earth actually comes from our oceans. So please save our oceans. Thanks for your time.